If you are a cat owner, you surely want your pet to have the best life possible. But as you will soon learn, to keep your cat happy and healthy, there are certain things you must never do. In this video, we will reveal 23 things you should never do to your feline friend. Number 23. Letting your cat play with string or yarn Cats love playing with yarn or string because their movements trigger their natural hunting instincts. However, string can be extremely dangerous if your cat eats some of it. It can cause serious damage to your cat's digestive system, leading to the intestines becoming tangled and knotted. This situation may require major surgery and have significant consequences for your cat's health. That's why it's safest to keep yarn out of your cat's reach. Number 22. Leaving them alone too long Although your cat may seem to be independent, if you leave them alone for too long, it can cause them stress and separation anxiety, not to mention the risk of accidents or illness, fevers, urinary blockages, blood clots. These are common cat health emergencies. Keep in mind that cats are creatures of habit who don't like change. When you suddenly leave them for a weekend road trip, they will become confused and stressed. Number 21. Forcing them to snuggle with you As a cat parent, you should never force your pet to cuddle or spend time with you if they don't want to. Cats are generally independent, and they don't like being overwhelmed with attention and affection. Many cats enjoy their alone time and prefer to be on their own when they're resting. To maintain a good relationship with your feline friend, respect their boundaries and not force attention. Not giving meat to your cat Cats are obligate carnivores, which means they require a meat-based diet. While vegetarian or vegan diets may work for humans, they are not suitable for cats. Eliminating meat from a cat's diet is very dangerous and can result in severe health problems, potentially leading to death. The truth is that meat must be the primary part of a cat's diet and cannot be replaced. Not brushing your cat Regular brushing not only helps keep their coat clean, but also prevents hairballs and removes dead hair and dandruff. In general, short hair cats should be brushed about once a week, medium hair cats several times a week, and long hair cats daily. Leaving old food out Food that has gone bad is no better for your cat than it is for you. It can result in illnesses like food poisoning and problems with their pancreas. Moreover, cats appreciate being served fresh food. They don't like it when the stuff in their bowl sits out for too long. It could be part of their finicky personalities, or it could stem from an ancient instinct that protected their ancestors from eating rancid meat. Either way, cats feel appreciated and understood when their families respect their desire for fresh food. Feeding them dairy Contrary to popular belief, you should almost never give your cat milk. Although cats might seem to love milk or cheese, most felines are lactose intolerant. Consumption of milk can cause gastrointestinal problems, upset stomach, vomiting, and diarrhea. However, an exception is goat milk. Goat milk is low in lactose and is digestible by cats. Number 16. Feeding them the same food A varied cat food diet with different flavors and textures will not only keep your cat excited for each meal, but it can also provide other health benefits too. By feeding a diverse diet, you improve the likelihood that your cat is getting the correct vitamins and minerals they need for a healthy life. Feeding a variety of foods also prevents your cat from becoming finicky. Cats who eat only one type of food for their entire life are more likely to refuse to try another. If your brand changes its formula or is recalled, or if a medical diagnosis requires dietary changes, you will find it difficult to get your cat to accept a new food. Number 14. Bathing them Cats are excellent at grooming themselves and they rarely need to be washed. If you decide to wash them, once or twice a year is enough. If cats are bathed too often, they may lose essential oils from their fur and it may even be a traumatic experience for them. Number 13. Declawing them Declawing is torturous to cats. It would be akin to cutting off our fingers at the last knuckle, leading to pain and mobility issues. It can even breed a sense of feeling vulnerable or defenseless in your pet. Because scratching is an innate cat behavior, 
declawed cats can suffer from emotional stress when they cannot scratch. It's unrealistic and unkind to try to prevent your feline from their own nature. Number 12. Neglecting them Offering your cat no attention, no affection, no interaction, no conversation, and no playtime can leave your pet depressed. Many people assume that cats are not social animals, but that is far from the truth. Cats benefit from interaction and affection from their human. Some cats are naturally affectionate, while other felines are more skittish about being held and petted. If you have a skittish cat, leave yourself open to receiving affection from them and return it in kind. Number 11. Giving bones to them Contrary to what cartoons often show, house cats have no business gnawing on fish skeletons or any cooked bones. Cooked bones are a serious danger to felines because they can splinter and get stuck in a cat's throat or stomach. Number 10. Let the litter box get dirty Cats are very clean animals, and it is important to them that their litter box is clean at all times. You should scoop it at least once a day. Besides scooping, change the litter regularly and clean the box with dish soap and warm water. If the litter box gets too dirty, your cat might not want to use it, which can result in litter box aversion. The litter box should also be located in an accessible but private place and be big enough for your cat to fit in comfortably. The number of litter boxes is also important. As a rule of thumb, it's best to have at least 1.5 litter boxes per cat. Number 9. Punishing them Although there may be situations that make you lose your patience, it is important to remember that punishment should never be the way to discipline a cat. It doesn't work. It actually does the opposite of what you want. It causes them stress and they will only become afraid of you. Instead, rely on positive reinforcement methods to encourage your cat's good behaviors. Give your cat a treat whenever they do a behavior that you like. Number 7. Not protecting against fleas, ticks, and heartworm. Even if your cat is an indoor cat, it is at risk of catching parasites and infectious diseases. Doors open and window screens aren't foolproof, and if you bring in ticks or mosquitoes, your pet could be exposed to heartworms, Lyme disease, or even the plague. Your cat can also catch contagious diseases when they go for grooming or stay at a boarding facility. To protect your cat, make sure they receive vaccinations regularly and take preventative measures. Number 6. Yelling when your cat misbehaves Yelling is another thing you should never do when disciplining your cat. It doesn't work, just like physical punishment doesn't. You're just freaking out your pet especially when you are upset about something that has happened a while ago. Cats live in the moment and are incapable of associating any punishment with an action that occurred in the past. Your cat not only will get scared, but they will be very confused as well. Keep in mind that cats are highly sensitive to loud noises, finding them scary. They can perceive the person making these noises as a threat and will begin to avoid them. Number 5. Ignoring changes in their behavior Cats will often show pain or illness in very subtle ways. If you notice any small changes in your cat's behavior or routine, like increased hiding, lethargy, changes in appetite, or any mood change, make sure to take them to the vet for a checkup, as they could be indicative of underlying health conditions. Number 3. Feeding your cat only dry food Many cats don't like water, so they don't drink enough of it. Because of this, they are more prone to developing urinary crystals and even kidney problems. More often than not, this can be prevented simply by adding wet food to your cat's diet. And be sure to keep several water stations in your home. Most cats enjoy running water, so it's best to get them a water fountain. Number 2. Bringing toxic plants into your house Some plants are toxic to cats. Removing toxic plants from your house or moving them to a room where your kitty doesn't have access to is the best way to protect your cat. Among the most toxic plants are daffodils, English ivy, azaleas, calla lilies, aloe, begonias, and ficus. Number 1. Not leaving the TV on It is important to add some enrichment to your cat's life. Popping the TV on may seem a bit weird, but most cats love it. Cats often like videos that show animals like birds and mice running around. On that note, 
we have created a special 12-hour video with fascinating birds, squirrels, and calming music specifically for cats to watch. Be sure to check out the YouTube video linked in the description below. Next time you go to work or school, keep the TV on and let your pet watch the video. It's a sure way to make your pet happier.